tell you. Hello. How are you going? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Hi, Karen, how are you? Good. Let's get warmed up, guys. Let's go um, butt kicks first, please. Heel to mum. And you'll need um, some sort of weight, dumbbells or plate today as well. Reach, just high above here. Two and one. 
and roll it up the wrist, sit it back. Three, two, and one. Okay, we've got butts and biceps today. So the first exercise, um, if you've got a wall, it works better with a wall. So we're gonna do a wall sit. If you haven't, you can just sit in a squat position and a hammer curl. Um, Hayley, you can probably use your plate to do the curl, okay? Each exercise is one minute, guys, so it's gonna to start to burn towards the end of that minute. Oh, I've got to grab them. Okay, you guys can start. So if you've got a wall, sit against the wall and do, have you got your plate, Haley? So you'll be doing curls with your plate. Yep, do the hammer curl if you've got the biceps because it, it's a bit easier if you turn them this way. I'll go get my book. So just keep going and get my dumbbell. So if you've got a ha if you've got dumbbells, hammer curls easier this way because they go past your legs. If you're doing it this way, the dumbbells hit the legs a little bit. Keep going, you're past halfway. So if you didn't have a wall, you just hold the squat hold. That's it. Keep your shoulders back. Doing well. Come on, 10 seconds. Just hold the wall set if it's too much to do the curl. Five left. Two, one, 10 seconds rest. Okay, so we're just gonna hold one dumbbell. We're gonna do, or a plate, side lunge, overhead press. Okay, let's go, we're gonna stay on the same leg. Unless you feel like you can use two, but we don't want to, if you feel like you can use two, go for it. We just don't want to compromise the form of the side lunge, that's all. And you stay on that same leg the whole minute. Quick. Side lunge first and then the press. Great job guys, doing well. Got 20. Four seconds left. Come on. Woo. Great job. Yep, just to, just if you've got one dumbbell, we're just keeping it here. We're not curling it down. We're just doing the press. So the press stays at the chest. That's it. Two, one. Have a break. So now we're going to switch sides. Same exercise, other side. Holding the dumbbell plate here. Two, one, let's go. Side lunge. So you step to the side, sit back. Overhead press. Side lunge, press. Oh guys, if you need to have a little break, just do that and then join us again when you can. Make sure the tummy's nice and tight. Sit. Keep working, we're past halfway. Come on, you can do it. Make sure you're not pushing forwards when you press above the head. Staying nice and straight. 20 seconds left. And that side lunge, we step to the side, sit back. Come on, we're nearly there. Eight seconds to go and then we've got a little bit of extra rest. Three, two, one, take a break, have a drink. I'll pause the time for a second. That's round one. So we're going to round two now. First exercise is double decker. So it's a squat, backward stepping lunge, squat, backward stepping lunge. Okay, so one minute's work. Five seconds and we'll get going. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat, drop back, squat, drop back. When you drop back, just make sure those knees and toes are lined up. That's it. Keep your shoulders back, head up. Good job, squeezing that tummy. So we're going for one minute each exercise. Come on, you can do it. 
set. Smart. Drop it back, keep those shoulders back. 25 seconds to go. Come on, keep going, keep going. Squeeze in that tummy. That's it. Woo. Nearly there. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going. Come on, couple more. Five seconds now. Three, two, one. Awesome. Lunge, curl, press next. A little bit of lunge, curl, press, down and down. It works better if you do a traveling lunge. Let's go, time started. So you lunge first, curl, press, down and down. And then lunge again. That's it. Then you can turn around and go back or just move it forwards. Lunge, curl, press, down, down. So make sure you don't come out of that lunge until you finish with the curl. Just lunge, curl, press, then all the way down and then out of the lunge. That's it. Great work, guys. 15 seconds to go. A couple more if you can. Brace that tummy so you're not leaning forwards when you press. Nice and controlled. Five seconds. Three, two, one. We've got a different one next. We're going to do 30 seconds each side. It's called a balanced lunge. So we're going to step forwards and then step back. Let's go. So we step forwards. Woo! It's not easy. And then we step back. It's quite hard to balance. So when you step forward, you bring your knee up and then step down. Woo! And then you bring it back. We're going to switch legs at 30 seconds. Really takes all your power to stay balanced. Okay, change sides. So knee up, forwards, knee up, woo, back. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? Knee up, forwards, knee up, back. I'm sure the more we do it, the better we'll get at it. Drop down, knee up, drop back. I might have my phone. Um, isn't it just went weird then? Three, two, one. That's another break, guys. That's set two done. Have a quick rest. Shake the legs. Okay. We're going back to some arms first for the first exercise. We're going to start with reverse curl first. So elbows point down. So reverse bicep curl. Okay. Two, one, let's go. If you need to, go to one dumbbell because it's not an exercise. Not, we don't really use these muscles a whole lot, the top of the bottom of the arm. It's not easy. You want to keep those elbows bent. That's it. Keep the elbows bent, guys. Go to one dumbbell if you need to. If you find you can't keep your wrists straight, go to one dumbbell. Yep, so it's still going to work with one dumbbell. Just hold the top and just bend from the elbow, come up. Try to keep your elbows at your side. So you're just hinging from that elbow. Good work. Doing well there with the bias, Karen. That must, you must be feeling that. Okay, you got a plate, Hayley, we're doing reverse curl. We're nearly finished. <laughs> okay, put the dumbbells down, guys. Got a bit of a cardio one in between our two strength exercises. So we're gonna do prisoner in out squat jumps. Remember, you can, let's go. You can step it if you need to. Make sure your elbows stay back. Chest up. Sitting down nice and low. We're going for a minute, or we've got 45 seconds left. If you need to, stepping, trying to keep that chest up, shoulders back. So one narrow, one wide. 
Great job, guys, you're halfway. Come on, we can do it. That's it. Oh, you're doing lunges, yeah? We're doing squats. <laughs> so it's a narrow squat and a wide squat. That's okay, as long as you're doing something. <laughs> Come on, guys, 15 seconds. Squeeze that tummy in, don't pull forwards. Eyes up, nice and tall. Add that jump. If you can, come on, three seconds, two, one, well done. Okay, last one for the set is five, five, five bicep curls. So we're going five, four range. You can do it with the plate, Haley. Let's go. Five, four range, five bottom halves. Do it at your own pace. And then five top halves. When you've done the bottom halves, you go from the top halfway down. Keep your shoulders back, shoulder blades pull together. When you've done your, your top halves, back to full range. We've got 35 seconds to go. So five full range, bottom halves and top halves. 20 seconds, guys. Pull your shoulder blades together, standing up nice and tall. Come on, try to breathe when you lift. Exhale. Come on, less than 10 seconds. Keep going. You can do it. Four, three, two, that's time. Radio, have a little break. We're gonna do those three sets one more time before we finish up, okay? We can do it. So we're going back to our wall set with a hammer curl. So find yourself a wall. Okay, so just one more time through. Okay, let's go. If you haven't got a wall, you can just hold a squat hold. Most people do have walls though. <laughs> if one's not accessible, I should say. Come on. Head up, looking forwards. Try to breathe as you lift, breathe it out. If you need to stop and rest, that's fine. Just join us again when you can. Shake the legs, back into it when you can. Good work. Even if you just want to hold the wall sit, that's all right. Come on, less than 25 seconds to go. Shake the legs, back down if you can. Woo! Come on, guys. We're nearly there. Dig deep, we can do it. Breathe it out. Woo! Come on, less than 10 seconds. Come on, come on. Down for a few more seconds, great work. Four, three, two, shake the legs. Okay, so you've got either two dumbbells or one. We've got side lunge with the overhead press. Two, one, let's go. Please go down to one if two is too much. Because we don't want to be leaning when we're pressing above the head. Press. Make sure with the side lunge that you're stepping to the side and sitting back on that seat. We're not pushing our knees too far forward. They'll go forwards a little bit, but it's about sitting back. Good job, guys. Come on, we're nearly there. Pass halfway. Stay on the same leg. We'll switch sides very soon. That's it. So make sure you're stepping to the side and sitting back. Looks like there's some guy going to the side and sit back. That's it. To the side, sit back. Come on, we're nearly there. Three, two, one. 10 seconds to shake your legs and your arms. We're going to the other side now. And we've got to rest after this. Two, one, let's go. If you need it to, you can just do the side lunge without the press. That's fine, if it's too much for your arms. But try and do the press if you can. So step to the side, sit back. To the side, sit back. Come on, you got 30 seconds. So we're 
stepping. Penny, there's a seat behind us. Pressing. Step. Sit back. Come on, we're nearly there. Just a few seconds left. Try and stay with it. Woo. Little break after this. Come on, all the way. Five seconds. Three, two. Take a break, guys. That's round one done again. I'll pause the timer for a second so you can grab a drink. Radio. Double decker. That is the first exercise of the next round. So squat, backward stepping lunge, squat, backward stepping lunge. Okay, let's get it done. Two, one, let's go. Squat, drop it back. Keep your shoulders back, head up, walking in front. Try not to look down at the ground. We want to keep that neck in a good position. Good job, guys. Come on, last time we do these, we're just going to go through the exercise one more time. Drop it back. Great work. We're halfway, past halfway now. Squeeze in that tummy. Keep it nice and tight. Come on, we're nearly there. That's it. Great job. Less than. Then a shot. Shoulders back. Head up. Come on, guys. I know those legs are burning. Come on. Almost done. Five seconds. Come on, finish it off. Two, one. Great work. Grabbing your dumbbells. Back to lunge curl press. Or you could just do a lunge curl if the press is too much. Let's go. So we step, drop into it, curl, press, down, and down. That's it. Keep your shoulder blades pulled together. You can do traveling lunges, or you can just step forwards and then step back. Great job. Come on, drop it down. Let's go guys, finish off. Step back as well, that's an option too. Come on, less than 20 seconds. Great work. Drop it down as low as you can with that back leg. Eight seconds to go, can we do one more? Last one, come on. Three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Back to our balanced lunge. Okay, 30 seconds each side. So we knee up, step forwards, knee up, step back. Up, lunge forwards, up, lunge back. We might, something to hold on to would probably be helpful, but. Try and do it without it if you can. It's a bit of a challenge. Up. Lunge forwards. One more on this side. Then we're going to switch legs. Let's change sides. So knee up. Drop down. Knee up. Drop back. It's definitely takes a little bit, I think, to get this one. I haven't been doing it very long myself. As you can probably tell. Come on, 10 seconds. That's it. Brace that core can help a little bit of stability. Two, one. Take a break, guys. One round left, and then we're jumping down for our stretch. So we're going to start with reverse curl. That's our first exercise. Try to make sure those elbows aren't coming forwards, so we want to keep them by our sides, hinge up and down. Okay, let's finish off. So Kayla, you can do this one with a plate, you just hold it, yep, and go, yeah, that's it. Awesome. You're using two or one dumbbell if you need to. Think about hinging from the elbow, down and up. 
Have a little rest if you need to. Eyes up, looking forwards. Try to exhale. You can lift a little past 90 if you like, just come up as high as you can. Keep those elbows pointing down. Come on, you've got about 20, less than 20 seconds to go. Stay up nice and tall. Pull your shoulder blades together. Finish up, guys. Come on, we can do it. Less than 10 seconds now. Great work. Three, two, one. Awesome. Two exercises left. First, the next one is prisoner in out squat jumps or squats. Let's go. So if you can, you can jump it or you can step it. Try to keep those elbows back, chest up. So a narrow squat with the legs together and then a wider squat. Core is tight. Come on, finish off. We can do it. Second to last exercise. Almost there. Great work if you're jumping it. Great work if you're stepping out too, guys. You're all smashing it. It's tough with that jump. Good work. Come on, we're past halfway. Finish off. That's it, less than 20 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Woo! Keep that chest up. Elbows back, last 10 seconds. Come on, finish it. That's it. Four, three, two, and one. Great work, guys. Final exercise. Five, five, five. Full range, bottom half, top half. Let's go. This is it. Elbows back. Shoulders nice and tall. Five full range. Five bottom halves. If you can do, if this is a normal bicep curl, or you can do hammer curl. I'll bring you some dumbbells on Saturday, Haley. I should have bought them up. Saturday just gone. And then five top halves from the top. Halfway down. Keep your shoulder blades pulled together. When you've done your top halves, back to your full range. Come on guys, finish off. Less than 20 seconds and we're done. Try to brace that core so you're not moving around too much. Come on. Less than 10 seconds. All the way to the end. Five seconds now. Three. Two, and you are done. Let's have a stretch. Actually, if you want to stretch your biceps, you put one thumb up, one thumb down, and pull back. Pull backwards, and then switch. Other side, one thumb up, one thumb down, pull back. Should feel a little stretch in the top part of the arm here. Okay, let's come down for our normal stretch now. So we'll go out long first. Reach it out. And then we're going to pull our knees to our armpits and roll out the ankles. So I'll add this one to our recorded Zoom sessions on um, in the VIP group if you feel like we might want to do it again one day. Okay, let's go to a glute stretch, foot on top, pull back. So our next session is 10 o'clock, oh no, not 10 o'clock, 5.30 tomorrow morning and then 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then we've got boxing at six at the park with Brent. Let's switch sides. That's it, pull back. Try and squeeze back a little bit deeper if you can. Feel that stretch in the glutes. Three, two, one. Let's go to a groin stretch. You're welcome to sit up and do your groin stretch. Otherwise, legs wide. This is a good one if there's no one around. If there's people around, <laughs> you feel a bit weird. Point the toes. Nice and wide. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Three, two, one. Okay, bring the legs together. 
come up over for our child's pose, pull back. Try and sit your bum back towards the feet. And walk it around and drop that shoulder, stretching down the side of the back, top of the shoulder. And walking around to the other side. Drop that shoulder. Okay, let's come back to the center. We're gonna step back for a calf stretch. Push that heel towards the ground, feel that stretch. One, changing leg up on that toe, squeeze the heel back and down. Okay, let's step forwards for our hip flexor stretch now. Squeeze the bum, lean into it. You can bring that arm up and lean to the side. So um, there'll be two winners of the Trainer Rise Track Competition next, oh, Friday, I'll be announcing them. So track to win, guys. Takes 10 seconds after your workout. Switch sides. And so squeeze the bum, lean into it, lean it over. Okay, let's bring it up to standing. So we're going to stretch the hamstrings now. Straight legs, hinge it at the hips. Just come as low as you can. That's it. Try to keep those legs straight. You want to feel a nice big stretch down the back of the legs. Try and drop a little deeper for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Slowly roll it up. Now we're going to go to a chest stretch. Open up the chest. Pull your shoulder blades back and down. And then reversing that one, tap the chin. Round the upper back, pull those shoulder blades apart. Okay, coming up to standing now, we'll just roll the shoulders back. Two, one, and then forwards. One, finishing with our quad stretch, heel to thumb. Squeeze the glutes, push the hip forwards. I feel a nice big stretch in that big quad muscle. Try and squeeze a little deeper, feel that stretch. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Awesome, switch sides. Grab something balanced if you need to. Here's the bum. Let's try and go a bit deep for a few seconds. Four, three, two, really feel it. And one. Good job. Finishing with our rotation. Squeeze it round. Five, four, three, two, and you are done. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday, guys. Thanks for joining me. Great work.